In this video, I'll show you how you can run the Kudu project locally on your machine. So we start by going to a GitHub, which is the project's home. We just grab the URL and we'll clone it. Okay. So now we end up with a solution that I can open in VS. There's actually two solutions, but the one you want is kudu.sln. And one important thing is that you have to run uh, Visual Studio in admin mode because it needs to automate RIS to do its thing. So as you can see, I'm running as administrator. Uh, once I have that, there's quite a few projects. So let's go ahead and uh, collapse them. And you want to set kudu.web as the startup project. And now let's go ahead and run it. It's coming up in the browser. So this is what Kudu looks like if you run it locally. As you can see, it's using the Bootstrap UI. Uh, what I can do here is create an application and I'll just call it Hello Kudu. And what this is going to do is automate RIS to create two sites, one for the uh, Hello Kudu site itself and one for the Kudu admin site for it and it gives you the two URLs here, as well as a Git URL. So I can grab this URL, go back to my command line, and I'll go to a different folder where I have a, a test app we can use. And I'll just push the test app to Kudu. It's pushing, it's building, and it's done. Now I can go back here and actually run the app and we see that my app is running. So the experience is somewhat similar to what we have in Azure, uh, but running locally. Uh, if I go to iNet Manager here and refresh, we can see that two sites were created. That's the one for the uh, site itself, and that's the one for the Kudu service for that site. So as you can see, uh, running Kudu locally is actually quite simple. So if you're interested in doing Kudu development, give that a try and let us know if you run into any issues.